Welcome back, Tool fans. Tonight, we've got new tool announcements from Milwaukee, Bosch, Makita, Ryobi, and more. We also have news about our upcoming $2,000 power tool giveaway, a platinum tool deal that's going to go insanely fast, and a bunch of the best tool videos of the week. All that and more coming up next on The Tool Show. Welcome back, everyone. Makita continues to expand the XGT lineup this week, starting with this new 40 volt XGT 7 and a quarter inch rear handle circular saw. Now I know what you're thinking. Doesn't Makita already have like 35 circular saws? Yes, yes they do. But this one is a cordless rear handle seven and a quarter inch circular saw running on their 40 volt XGT platform, which I'm sure you could have guessed if you listened to the name. It boasts a full two 9 16 inch cutting capacity, letting you clear three by material in a single pass. You can get one right now for only $2.99 in a kit with a four amp hour battery charger and a bag. Now, ever since World of Concrete 2023, Bosch has been slowly rolling out new tools. And this week we got the GCU 18V30 18 volt brushless cutout tool. This super compact tool features ergonomic handling thanks to its slim grip design. It boasts a bunch of power and long run times as well. When you pair it with the Bosch Core 18 4 amp hour compact battery, it can cut up to 300 linear feet on a single charge. Next up is the Bosch GTB 18V45 18 volt brushless screw gun, which aims to get your drywall jobs done comfortably and fast. It has a balanced grip specifically to allow you to use your thumb and index finger to control it. Thanks to their extend drive system, it activates the motor only when the bit senses pressure for increased runtime and less noise on the job. And to keep your new screw gun going, they also announced the GMA22 auto feed attachment, making it a breeze to drive row after row of screws at high speeds. And finally, Bosch announced the GKM18V20 18 volt metal circular saw with chip collector. This little fella has a five and three eighths inch blade giving you two inch cutting capacity. It also features an ergonomic grip and an integrated chip collector to collect metal shavings while you cut. Now we still don't have final pricing or availability, but when we do, we'll tell you first. Milwaukee keeps sneaking new tools onto our list, this week adding an all new M18 brushless 1 inch SDS plus D handle rotary hammer, model 2613. It drills 3 8 inch by 2 inch holes faster than a corded D handle rotary hammer. They didn't say which one, but I'm guessing it's faster than this one. Oh yeah. It boasts 1.95 foot pounds of impact energy, 1270 RPM, and 4580 BPM, but comes in at a feathery 6.9 pounds with a 5 amp power battery. Not bad. And the D-handle actually makes sense for this tool because you're often using it to drill down, not like a jigsaw where it would only make sense to a Jim Davis. Still don't get that. The drill can finish up to 103 8 inch by 2 inch holes on a single 5 amp hour battery and it can be paired with Milwaukee's M12 Hammer Vac for onboard OSHA Table 1 compliance. You can pick one up for yourself this April for $330. Milwaukee also launched a new M18 Fuel 5 CFM vacuum pump for the evacuation stage of HVAC repairs and installs. It's designed with an industry first manifold mode to maximize speed and runtime, providing up to 90 minutes per charge. For evacuations utilizing direct connections and large half inch hoses, the default mode will give you 60 minutes. The pump has a half inch, three eighths inch, and quarter inch ports for use in residential and light commercial applications. It also has an isolation ball valve for easy battery changes and internal check valve to protect the system vacuum when the pump isn't running and a gas ballast valve which extends oil life and decreases the frequency of oil changes. You have no idea what any of that means, do you? No, do you? I do not. Okay. Hey, Eric Ani, would you do me a favor and come on the show to explain this to me next week? Pretty please, you have my number. For those of you who already understand what this tool is for and why it's so great, well, you can get it in June for $849.99. No idea if that's a good deal. Ryobi keeps adding new tools to their 18 volt OnePlus platform because 280 obviously isn't enough. And this week they added a Bluetooth speaker with more than a few tricks up its sleeve. This is the Ryobi 18 volt OnePlus Verse Clamp Speaker. It's obviously compact and that clamp will let you clip it anywhere you want music. But the real magic happens when you turn it on and then sync it to another one. And then another. 
you can actually sync up to 100 of these speakers together to cover the entire job site or the biggest beach party you've ever seen. They've somehow managed to get the Bluetooth connection up to 250 feet between the primary speaker and your streaming device. You can then chain speakers up to 150 feet apart. Volume can be adjusted independently or synchronized. It has a pivoting head so you can point the music towards the party, and with a 4 amp hour battery, each one will keep the party pumping for up to 32 hours. Super cool idea. I want like 10 of these in the woods behind my house where I can set up a haunted hayride this Halloween. That'll be fun. These speakers will be available in May for $59 for a single speaker, $99 for a pair, or in a kit with one speaker and a one and a half amp hour battery for $99. We are only three days away. This Monday on March 6th, we're going live at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to randomly choose a channel member who will get to choose one of our three remaining mystery shelves, each loaded with over $2,000 in pro tools and pro accessories from Spider. We still have a Milwaukee shelf, we have a Flex shelf, and we have a DeWalt shelf as well. But no one knows what's actually on them, and the winner will have to choose blindly live. So evil. <laughs> and while only our channel members qualify for that prize, anyone within the lower 48 can win one of several prizes that we give away in the live chat. Now we actually wrap each prize and then unwrap them live for each winner. It's a ton of fun and we hope that you join us. So set a reminder for 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for this Monday, March 6th, and join us right here on Belts and Boxes. Now last week we had the good folks at Motion Heat reach out to us and ask if we'd like to give one of you guys one of their $200 heated vests. Obviously we said yes. Yes, of course we did. So after a few days, we randomly chose a comment that belonged to Upcountry <laughs> Junk. Grats, man, and we hope you enjoy your heated vest as much as Sarah and I love ours. And if you really have to thaw frozen oil lines, you, you might want to invest in a pair of their heated gloves yeah. that are powered by the vest as well. I freaking love mine. Last year, Milwaukee invited us to their headquarters for an event focused on their all new M18 vacuum line. We've been using ours in our shop ever since, and it even managed to rescue us from a few flash floods. But the most surprising thing at the event was the inclusion of a model without a battery at all. Instead, it had a cord. Well, as it turns out, that cord is for plugging it into a wall socket where it gets its electricity. Genius! Right? Now at the time, Milwaukee told us they didn't know when we'd see that model, and a year later, it just showed up at Workshop Addict. The obvious question is how does it compare to the dual battery M18 version that claims 4.25 horsepower versus the 6.5 horsepower on the corded model? The Addict puts them both through a series of tests and it becomes pretty obvious from the start that the corded head unit is more powerful and oddly quieter. But as he points out, while the modular system is pretty neat, it's certainly not cheap. We have both the single battery and the dual and use them quite extensively. And while we have a ton of batteries, it would be really nice to have a corded one, especially if you need a bit more power. I wonder if that will suffice for our bandsaw. If you're already an M18 VAC user, be sure to check out his video before you buy the corded model. I love really big power tools, and I can always count on the boys at Machinery Nation to entertain and educate me on them. This week, they have an enormous Ventrac 4520 tractor with a genius flex frame and more than a few different attachments. And it's not just a mower. You can aerate, brush, snow plow, grade, blow snow, have a drop seeder, fit it with a full winter cab, have a blower on the front, use it as a power bucket, a power rake, a landscape rake, even a tiller and a trencher. It also comes as an edger, a stump grinder, a sod cutter, a leaf plow, groomer, renovator. Okay, James, we get it. He actually goes on listing more attachments for like 75 minutes. Ish. Anyways, the attachment I was most interested in was the stump grinder because I've got a bunch of stumps. Seriously, after watching James have so much fun, I was wanting one of these things pretty bad and about six different attachments for use here at the studio. So I actually went and looked up the prices here in the States and I'm looking at $31,000 with zero attachments. The snow blade was around $2,250 and the stump grinder was $5,200. So yeah, not really in the cards. Unless I can somehow find a way to get a bunch of clients lined up to make some money with it, but oh well. Still cool, still fun to watch, and you should still swing over to Machinery Nation to see what it can do. Tools is still living on the other side of the hemisphere where it's summertime, which means he's still mowing his lawn. 
But this week, he's getting the job done with Makita 40 volt XGT mower. Well, two of them actually, a 21 inch and a 19 inch, both powered by Makita's XGT batteries. He put two 8 amp hour batteries in them and set out to see how many square meters he can cut, whatever that is. And apparently, they can cut a lot. But forget all of that because I think I see tools base. Look at that clip! What a handsome guy. The truth is that you can go back to a few of his earliest videos for a better look, but you'll have to find those by yourself. For now, if you're wondering if you can mow a big lawn with a little battery, Tools has the answer at Tools and Stuff. Why are the kiwis always blurry? It's gotta be all that fresh air. That makes zero sense. Yeah. Have you ever seen that crazy egg beater impact wrench on TikTok? Well, the torque testing crew got a hold of one themselves to see if the little guy was worthy of the hype, and the results were... <laughs> Super weird. As it turns out, that thing is built like nothing else, and at first glance, I'd assume something like that would never work. But their testing equipment quickly proves me wrong. That thing could beat so many eggs. So many! To not only see what it can do, but what exactly it does do, in slow motion no less, head over to Torque Test Channel. Mike over at Projects for All got an early sample of skills yet to be released, PowerCore 20 XP Circular Saw Kit. He decided to not only review each feature and walk you through blade installation, but he figured the only way to test that included 4 amp hour battery was to run it through a 2x12 until it died. And he did. He made 270 cuts on one battery with the framing blade included with the kit. And he never once had any overheating. The saw just did the job. He also loved the ergonomics and the price. Now, unfortunately, you can't get one until March 15th, but you can still watch Mike play with his over at Projects for All. So thanks to both Milwaukee and Ryobi, recently there have been an abundance of track saw reviews on YouTube. And while each one's slightly different, it's their prices that are pretty united in their absurdity. So Matt decided to look for a low cost alternative and he may have just found it. That's the Milescraft track saw guide system, which lets you use your lowly normal circular saw on a track. Now it won't turn it into a plunge saw or give you fancy bevel cuts, but it's still built well and delivers the straight cuts that it promises. To see if it would help you avoid the prices of a true track saw, head over to 731 Woodworks. We don't cover a lot of hand tools on the tool show, but that's just because Rob's lazy. True story. But that doesn't mean that we don't watch the last best tool every week. And this time he started a very interesting discussion about pliers, their shape, and their future. And if that sounds fun, then this video is absolutely for you. If not, suit yourself, young cultured swine. Something else we rarely cover is fine woodworking, but I know full well that we have a bunch of fine woodworkers in the audience, so listen up. Ben Strano over at the Fine Woodworking YouTube channel has been posting fine woodworking news segments on the Fine Woodworking website, but last week he started sharing them on YouTube as well. Now his focus, as he puts it, are cool tools and woodworking news stories that he finds throughout the week while browsing the web. Apparently, if you ever leave YouTube, you can still quote, browse the web, but I really don't want you guys doing that. It's scary out there. Fortunately, Ben will do it for you. In his first two episodes, he covers the new tools Festool is bringing out, but kind of refusing to really talk about, and a bunch of cool woodworking tools and deals. But it was his second episode that caught my attention because he featured the new electric sawmill that was recently announced by Grizzly. Now, when Sarah and I saw the press release come in about a week ago, we were floored. It runs on a standard 110 volt outlet and can mill up to 13 inch diameter logs. And all of that for only $3,000. And it seems Ben's just as excited as we were. So if woodworking is your thing, you should really check out Ben's new series on the Fine Woodworking channel here on YouTube. I don't know if you guys have seen this all before or not, but either way, you're in for a treat. Because that's Mark Thomas, and he's holding the skill saw, saw squatch, carpentry chainsaw. And it's exactly what it looks like. It's a barn chain from a chainsaw, or a cutty cutty, built into a worm drive powered circular saw body. That makes this thing perfect for cutting either really thick lumber or trimming a bundle of lumber in one pass. Mark was obviously excited to try this crazy saw out for himself and in his typical fashion, he covers every single feature, teaches you to maintain it, and of course, puts it to work. You can watch the full review over at Mark Thomas Builder. All right, who wants a shot at the best tool deal of the week? 
because every Friday we share a special code that we call the Platinum Tool Deal. That code gives 25 lucky people one of the best tool deals you'll ever find online. You just have to use it before it's gone. This week we've got an unbelievable deal on our favorite pro accessory brand, Spider. You'll get $50 off any $100 Spider purchase, and that's good on any Spider products, even the ones that might not be in stock. The code that you need is BABCUT. Now take that code over to ohiopowertool.com and save up to 50% on your favorite spider blades, bits, or accessories. Good luck. Now, while Sarah was busy wrapping up the Platinum Tool Deal, I was hacking into a bunch of your phones, and you guys did not set a reminder for 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this Monday. What? It's true. They didn't. So I want you to set that reminder while Sarah thanks the companies that makes this whole thing possible. Oh, you mean like Flex and Spider, who continue to support our show and our community of tool fans by producing some of the most innovative pro tools and pro accessories found on the job site today. Thank you, guys. All right. If you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend, and Sarah and I will see you back here on Belts and Boxes at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this Monday night, where you just might win something big. See you then.